Half World and Darkest Light were um, developed out of my trying to puzzle out um, why we have such long histories um, of violence and, and suffering um, in our human lives and, and this has been cycling on on and on for all of humanity um, throughout history. And so I was trying to puzzle out um, why this may be and um, came up with the idea of three realms, um, the realm of flesh, like this physical world that we live in, and um, the half world, which is a kind of purgatory, like uh, in-between place, and um, the realm of spirit. And um, I was thinking, at one time, these three realms were interconnected and we would pass from one to the other. And when the worlds were interconnected, um, there was balance, um, but they were split apart and that's why uh, there, there isn't balance in the world. Um, so this was the basic premise of, of Half World. I don't know if I'm exactly like any of the characters I've written, but um, I do identify with um, Melanie and Halfworld. Um, I remember being uh, a teen and feeling uncertain about the future, uncertain of my own strengths, and um, a little scared. Um, I didn't know what would happen, and I didn't know if I was up to whatever life would throw at me. Um, and so I was very much channeling that kind of vulnerability um, in through Melanie, and um, I really remember that well. I, I also, you know, also identify with G in, in Darkest Light, um, in that he was struggling internally with um, trying to be a, a good person, and um, that it's I think it's a struggle we all have, um, and I do remember feeling um, a lot of uh, different emotions very keenly as, as, a, as a teen. Um, and so yeah, those aspects are uh, part of my personality. Um, I don't know if I'm exactly like the characters, but parts of me um, are in them as well. Five words. Dark, harrowing, heartbreaking, redemptive, and empowering. I'm naturally a panster. I prefer to just delve into story, but before I delve into story, um, I have a very strong sense of the main characters and um, a working premise, like a con conceptual idea, and um, several questions I have about what or why. Um, and so these are starting points for the story. Um, I've had to outline more in the past um, five, seven years um, in order to sell novels before they're written. Uh, so that means I have to plot a little bit more, which is a, a good thing. I do my best writing at my desk. Um, I was going to uh, record this vlog at my desk, but the lighting was no good, so um, I'm in the living room. Um, I need my desk uh, and plants around it. Um, before, I used to have a betta fish. He was beautiful, uh, but he, he's died since since then. But um, yeah, I, I'm natural light uh, and quiet, um, so these are this is the best place for me to write. Yes, I experienced writer's block. Um, I've experienced it so many times that it's not as frightening and despairing anymore. Um, when I first started experiencing it, um, I was very scared that I wouldn't be able to finish 
uh, my book or meet a deadline or all these things. It was very, very stressful. Um, but I've been at it for a while and experienced writer's block enough times that I know that it's likely to come around um, with each project. And um, when it does, um, there's, I try to write around the block. And um, sometimes I'm so stuck that I just can't write at all. And then if that happens, it's just best to get away from the desk, get away from your writing room and um, step outside, um, get exercise, get fresh air, uh, bring in more stimu stimuli into your life. Um, when I'm in the middle of a, a novel and I'm very, very focused on it, I, I don't read very much at all. So then I'll back away from my own manuscript and then do uh, a lot of reading and watch a lot of film spend time with my friends and um, you know just nurture something that needs to be nurtured um, and I'll come back um, and certain things like uh, driving I find is very helpful I make connections while I'm driving um, repetitive tasks boring tasks like washing dishes uh, something that's slightly meditative and um, repetitive uh, is uh, can help me make connections when I'm stuck as well.